Hey what is going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone settings that you probably never knew about. These are settings that are kind of like hidden within the settings app of your iOS 13 device and you should know about them and use them on your iOS 13 device. The first setting we're talking about is found under your profile on the settings app. So at the top of the settings app, you tap on your profile and then go to password and security. And right here, we'll find a section that says apps using your Apple ID. Now, if you go here, you will find a list of all the apps that are currently using your Apple ID. And from here, we'll also have the chance to remove them. You tap on the edit button and you can remove any of these apps and of course, stop them from using your Apple ID. Under the same section on your profile, under password and security, you will also find trusted phone numbers. Now, these are the numbers that you trust and whenever you want to recover, your Apple ID or you want to sign in with a two factor authentication, then you will use this number to get a code. If you tap on the edit button right here, you can go ahead and remove the current one that you have, or you can also add additional phone numbers that you have trusted and then get the code through them. Under the profile on the settings app, you will also see all the devices that you have currently connected to your Apple ID. And from here, you will be able to check out like details for any of these devices. So if I tap on my Apple watch right there, you can see that it will show me like details regarding the OS version that it has. Of course, it will show the model right there as well as the serial number. Now from here, you can go ahead and just change the passcode or remove any device that you want from your Apple ID. If you have a pair of AirPods and you want to know more details about them, all you have to do is connect them to your iPhone and then go to settings, go to general, go to about, and right here, if you scroll down, you will see a new section that says AirPods right there. Now, what you have to do is just tap there and you will see here everything you need to know about your AirPods. You will see the model number, the serial number, the firmware, and the hardware version. So right here, you can also check whether your AirPods have the latest firmware or not. So usually Apple releases new firmwares for the AirPods, but you don't have like an, a direct way to update them. They will update automatically. So if you want to see whether they have been updated or not, you can check the firmware version from here. But again, Always you need to have your AirPods connected to your iPhone in order to see this menu. Now, if you use do not disturb on your iPhone, then you will have here a very useful feature. If you go to the do not disturb section, you can scroll down and right here will see auto reply. Now, did you know that you can actually change this? So if you just tap right there, it will show you the keyboard and you can actually change this to any text you want. Now, of course, you want to have your personalized message here that you want to reply to someone. You can basically add here any text you want. And then, of course, use that to quickly auto reply to anyone while you have do not disturb turned on. On your settings app, if you go to general and you go to language and region, here we'll have your iPhone's language. Right there, I have English and I can go ahead and add other languages as well. So if I tap on other languages, I will have the ability to add another language to my iPhone right here. So if you want to edit your language or you want to add new ones, then you can do that from here, basically by going to general, go to language and region, and you will have it right here. And then here we'll see also other details. You will have your region. So if you want to change your region, you can do that from here. You can change the calendar mode right here. And then you can also change the temperature unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So these are settings that can be found under the language and region section on the general settings. One of the most useful features of the iPhone is of course the predictive keyboard. It is just amazing and it's really easy typing anything. Once your keyboard learns the way you type and what you say, it will be very, very easy to type any message or anything you want. But what if you want to reset everything that the keyboard has learned? You want to bring it basically to point zero. What you can do is go to general and then scroll all the way down to reset. And right here, you will find a button that says reset keyboard dictionary. Now, what that does is that it will just clear your keyboard. Everything that the keyboard has learned from you typing, it will clear that and it will start learning fresh, like from the beginning, 
like when you get a new iPhone or basically restore your iPhone, you get a clean keyboard without anything that it has learned. You can do that using this feature right here. We set the dictionary of your keyboard. On the settings app under the accessibility section, you will find here Zoom. Probably you have used it every once in a while. So you will have this window right here or you can use just a full zoom in. But what if you want to have a controller to control this so you don't have to drag your finger there? You go down here and you will find Zoom controller. Now here we'll have the ability to enable it and here have it. Once you tap on it, it will show you basically the shape of your iPhone right there and you will have the ability to control that window to anywhere you want. You can see in a second there it will disappear completely but you will still have the function and you can precisely zoom anywhere you want. Now the controller also has different commands. You will see here controller actions. Now you have single tap which shows the menu and then you will also have double tap which allows you to zoom in and out and you will have also triple tap so you can go ahead and basically set an action right there. So we have speak on touch if you want to use that for the triple tap. There are other cool settings that can be found under the accessibility section. So if you go to accessibility and you go to spoken content, you will find here voices. Now, if you go to voices, you will have all the different languages and you will have different names here for different voices. So if I go to English, I have here a few names that I can go ahead and download. So you can see we have basically Samantha there, we have Fred and you can go ahead and add more so you can see all these different names and you will have those little arrows right there that you can use to basically go ahead and download those voices to your device. Now, if you go to one of the already downloaded ones, you can tap the play button right there and you can basically listen to a sample of that voice and see how that voice sounds before you go ahead and apply it to your device. If you go to the photo settings on your settings app, you will find here cellular data. Now, if you go here, you will find two options. You have an option to enable cellular data. Basically, this will allow your photos to use cellular data for the shared albums and iCloud photos. You will also have here unlimited updates. Now, of course, you can use this if you have an unlimited data plan. Then you can use this for unlimited use of data from your photos app to upload and download photos to the iCloud. So of course, if you have a limited plan, it's better that you leave that off. But if you have an unlimited one, you can go ahead and always use cellular data there for the iCloud photos. Under the privacy settings of your device, if you go ahead and go to location services and scroll all the way down and go to system services, right here we'll find a button that says status bar icon. Now these are all system services, not apps, but system services that will use your location. By default, you won't see the little arrow, the location arrow right there on the status bar when one of these is using your location. But you can do that by enabling this button. If you enable it, then it will show you the little arrow right there even when system services are using your location not just apps. And then up here also have product improvement. Now you can use basically your iPhone can use your location for product improvement. You will have the iPhone analytics, you will have the popular near me and routing and traffic. Now this maybe will help in some way, it will help Apple more, but just go ahead and turn these off because what they will do is just consume battery and performance out of your iPhone. Right here, we'll also find significant locations. Now, this one is really interesting. You can enable it or disable it right there, and you will have also a button to clear the history. Now, basically, what this does is that it will keep track and data of the locations that you visit frequently. So, if you don't want that to happen, you can, of course, disable it from here. Or if you want to have a history of your most like visited locations, you can keep that on. So that's it for this video, guys. These are some settings that are very useful, but are kind of like hidden within iOS, within the settings of your iOS device. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.